What's up, guys? Mike Levert here, head trader at True Trading Group. And on November 22nd, big day, home run, grand slam trade, ASLN. Monster mover halted a ton of times, 500% gainer. This thing was out of control. We're going to talk about mental lesson. We're going to talk about technical lesson. We're going to talk about how to trade small caps and low float stocks that halt. Okay, there's really, really, really great lessons and information I'm going to cover with you on this trade. So this is a video you are definitely going to want to watch until the end. Before I get into the lesson, I have something real quick that I want to touch upon because I've been getting a lot of messages from uh, the YouTube community. I've been getting a lot of messages from people on Facebook and Twitter asking about, are we going to have a Black Friday sale? The answer is yes, we are. Okay, we are going to have a big Black Friday sale that includes chat room access and all of my trading courses that I've created. Um, but because you guys show me so much love on YouTube uh, and the YouTube community, I'm actually going to give the YouTube community a bigger discount than the Black Friday sale. If you guys are interested in a steeper discount than what we're going to be offering for Black Friday – I want you guys to send an email to info at truetradinggroup.com telling, letting us know that you're from the YouTube community, include your YouTube name, because if you are a subscriber, okay, to the channel, I'm going to give you an even bigger discount than the Black Friday sale. We will check. I am going to check if you guys are subscribers. So make sure if you haven't done so already, subscribe, like, comment, flip the notification button too as well. Make sure you guys don't miss out on any videos. So once again, um, we are having a Black Black Friday sale. It will we will start it next week, um, going into Thanksgiving, and then over the weekend, and then you have Cyber Monday. But like I said, right now, if you're from the YouTube community, I'm going to offer you guys an even bigger discount than what we're going to offer on the website for the Black Friday sale and the stuff we're going to post on social media on other channels. But you guys show me so much love on YouTube. So if you again, info at truetradinggroup.com. Let us know your YouTube username. Um, and just reference this video and the discount and a representative will give you guys a call. Okay. So now let's get into ASLN. Get ready guys. This is going to be a really good video. Um, ASLN is a stock that everybody was talking about today. Huge mover. This stock was 40 something cents yesterday. Went all the way up to $3 today. Um, and the first lesson we're going to talk about is a mental lesson. Um, and it also touches upon like how to trade these, these low float small caps that halt. OK, because ASLN was running right out of the gate. This stock opened up, took off and then halted. I didn't jump on this thing until it was actually already halted. I didn't see it until it was halted. I was looking at some other things. I was looking at Tesla. I was tr I, I tried to short Tesla and I didn't get a fill um, in front of 342. The high of the day was 341. I had an offer at 341.50. So. Right off the bat, I was like, oh, because Tesla dropped like 10 points. So I was kind of upset about that. But um, so I wasn't on this in the morning um, when we came up here and halted. But once it was halted, obviously, I start looking at it, as did a lot of other traders. And this is what we're going to talk about with halting small caps like this. Guys, I want you to be very, very careful buying these stocks as soon as they begin trading again after the trading halt. It's very risky. You'll see a lot of other traders out there that are momentum traders that chase the momentum off the trading halt. You will literally never see me market order into a stock right off of a halt. It's extremely risky. It's extremely volatile. And it's difficult for you to identify your risk. Okay. I think it's a, you're much better off waiting for the stock to pull in, settle in trade a little bit instead of halt opens for trade 30 seconds later it's halted opens for trade 30 seconds later it's halted that's what asln was doing when it when it began trading again right here it only opened for about 20 30 seconds and it was halted again okay so that's the kind of stuff that that i was seeing and then we actually halted again right here this was actually another halt and then after we began trading here we pushed up halted again for and we were open for seconds okay i do not like trading that action i think it's very 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 risky and if you're going to get one of these low float small caps that actually gives you that continuation short squeeze 
believe me, you're going to get a lot more than just one opportunity to buy that stock. So be patient, be a sniper, not a machine gunner. Don't fall victim to FOMO and don't chase momentum. Wait for patterns, wait for setups, because there is a very good way and a very high probability way to trade these halting stocks without having to put yourself in such tremendous risk. Okay, so I let this thing go. This whole thing right here, I let it go. I didn't touch it. Okay, I just didn't touch it. It wasn't until this pullback that I started to get um, get ready for an entry opportunity. And why? Let's let me pan this in so we can we can zoom this in so you guys can see this a little bit better. Okay, so like I said, these halts were open for seconds. Then we get a pullback. Okay, we halt on this pullback. We actually halted right here as well. Right here was a halt. So we pulled in and halted. Right when we halted, I said, okay, guys, now I'm going to start to look for an entry opportunity in front of a key area of support. And where was that key area of support? Okay, right here. Right at 150. Why 150? It's a previous halt price, which is relevant when you have these small caps that halt. They almost act like initial morning highs. And you have the 38.2 Fibonacci level that lines up dead even with that previous halt price. At the time that we were halted in here, the trade line was also sitting down around 150. Now the stock took off so quickly. Now the trade line, you can see adjusted itself. It's all the way up here. But at the time, the trade line was down here around 150 as well. So we opened up for trade. We pulled in. We halted again. There's another halt. Okay. Again, very difficult to have traded this thing. It was opening for just seconds. There's your halt. But now this provided me the, the, the opportunity. This is the entry opportunity where I can clearly say, okay, this is where my risk is. And if this area holds, I think we're going to continue higher. And this is, we've got a very specific game plan going into this trade. Use these previous halt prices, guys. When a stock halts and then gaps up and pushes higher and you get increasing volume on that push, use that previous halt price as a potential area of support. Look for other indicators that line up with that halt price. In this case, it was the trade line and the 38.2 Fibonacci level. I loved the 150 area, okay? So coming right out of the halt, we get a quick pullback right down into 150, 150 holds, and on the way back up, let me go back and delete these for the halts. On the way back up, I got long right there at $1.63. I'll take you guys to my trade announcements on the day. Zoom it in. Long ASLN at 163, stop loss 140. Look at how beautiful that is. Look at how low the risk is in in um, relevance to the potential reward. The stock went all the way to $3. Okay, my final take profit was $2.83. That's a 74% gain. Okay, so look about this in terms of risk reward ratio. Look at how I'm able to enter such an insanely risky, insanely volatile stock and really slow it down because I waited for an entry opportunity that I can clearly identify my risk and use that previous halt price in conjunction with two different indicators, the trade line and the, Fib, and the uh, 382 Fibonacci as my support level. So there's my entry. If we break down below 150, I'm out of the position. I also had VWAP sitting underneath me at 140 to give me a little bit of an extra cushion. OK, and there's the entry price. There's the entry. And you guys can see this thing just took off like a bat out of hell. Halted, 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 halted all the way up. And now at this point, I'm not worrying about trying to get into my position when the stock is, is coming out of its trading halt. I'm taking profits as the stock is coming out of its trading halt, throwing orders out on the way up. So once the trade resumes from the halt, it shoots up. Fills my order, gets halted. I throw more st more shares out there. It shoots up, gets halted, and I'm just taking profits on the way up, guys. Back to my turn outs, as you can see, I took my first piece of profit off at 178, the bulk of my position off at 197, and my final take profit at 283. It was right here in this red candle. So once we broke down below this previous halt price, which was 285, that's when I bailed out and I got out at 283. Um, and then you guys see the high of the day is 298 okay and you can see we've pulled back in it's only 325 in the afternoon but you can see the stock is has really kind of lost its lost its mojo a little bit the stock's kind of died out there's not really too much going on anymore as this friday session comes to a close but this was absolute spot on guys this was such a great trade a lot of people in chat caught it 
I took a screenshot of just what a, some of the things a couple people in chat were saying. I just want to share this stuff with you guys. I just I just grabbed a couple and I just put them in here. You can see ASLN took some more profit at 199. Thanks, me in at 160, 25% left. Smiley face. I got in on ASLN at 162, in ASLN at 155, all out at 205. I think I'm falling in love with you, Mike. I think I'm falling in love with you too. Uh, another member, since joining TTG, I've never traded better. Someone else, ASLN, flat at 283, same exit as me. Boom. Sold half at 285, still holding half. Boom. ASLN, in at 172, out at 287. Look at these exits, guys. These trades, a lot of people in chat caught this, this move today. It was really picture perfect, was spot on. Um, I'm really proud of a lot of the members that that took advantage of this trade, but this is how you guys can slow down these volatile small cap trades that continue to halt. They can be very scary, intimidating, um, and, and rightfully so because they move around very, very quickly. But if you're patient, you don't fall into FOMO and you don't chase the momentum and you wait for patterns, you wait for setups, you wait for support levels where you can clearly identify your risk, it slows the volatility down a bit and it slows the trade down a bit and it, it helps you be a little bit more comfortable because it's very easy in a trade like this for your emotions to really take over and affect your decision making because stock is moving so quickly. So the, the faster the stock moves, the more anxious you get and the more your emotions are going to put are going to come into play. But if you wait for these setups, it slows it down and makes it easier for you to manage the trade. OK, this is a great way to close out the week, guys. I'm stoked. This is a, a, a nice trade. We got a good day yesterday with the cannabis stocks. Cannabis stocks all pulled in today. But ASLN is the kind of the um, the shining star here today. And, you know, it's patience. I sat here during this whole move because I just didn't like the risk on it would just open, push, open, push. I'm not going to chase it. I'm going to wait for the pullback, wait for a support level to show its face. And then I'm going to go ahead and attack it. Um, and that's just my conservative mindset as a trader. Instead of being aggressive, chasing it, I'm being conservative. I'm waiting for my pullback into my support levels, into my setups, and we nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. Great way to finish out the week. Again, guys, if you're interested in the Black Friday sale, because you are a part of the YouTube community, make sure you are a you are subscribed to the channel. Send an email to info at truetradinggroup.com um, with your YouTube name and tell let us know that you're interested in uh, the special YouTube discount for the Black Friday sale, and um, we'll give you a call and let you guys know kind of what we have to offer. And I'm not going to say it now on the channel um, because, like I said, it, we are going to have the Black Friday sale, but for you guys that contact us that want in, it's going to be a bigger discount than what we're going to offer for the Black Friday sale uh, because you guys are just so awesome with the likes, the comments. I love it. Uh, keep it up, and I'll keep on posting the videos. Have a great weekend, everybody. I'll see you guys in chat on Monday. Take care.